It may be the most popular and recognizable poi trick outside of the weaver butterfly, and today I'm going to tell you the secret to getting it down. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, teaching you poi spinning to benefit your body and brain, and today I'm going to lay down everything you need to know in order to learn the poi Mercedes. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these companies and the work that they do to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. This trick has gone by so many names over the years. When I first learned it, we'd sometimes call it the Trifoil Flower, the Triketra, or the name I most associate with it, the Mercedes. Fundamentally, the Mercedes is probably the most popular example of what we'd refer to as polyrhythm hybrids. The short explanation for what this means is that effectively we're mashing up two poi tricks with different numbers of beats in order to create a new move. Want a more detailed explanation? Check out my poi explainer on hybrids to get the full rundown on this and many other types of poi hybrids. The Mercedes is also almost always the first polyrhythm hybrid that many poi spinners learn, and it's so popular because it's both a fun intermediate level challenge and it leads to eye-catching long exposure photography. Seriously, for a couple years there, Everyone's profile photo on Facebook was a Mercedes. I'm not joking. What makes it an interesting challenge is that because it's the first polyrhythm hybrid most people encounter, they also have to learn for the first time how to create a poi trick that involves going through multiple modes of timing and direction. At the top, the trick is in together opposites, and on the bottom, it's in split time opposites. This makes it a great trick for switching modes, but it also means you're going to have to learn some brand new motor skills in order to get there. So let's take a look and see how this can be done. First up, Let's take a moment to review the component pieces of a Mercedes. It might be more correctly referred to as Triketra or three pedal anti spin versus extension in normal hybrid nomenclature. The extension part of this is easy enough. You just need to swing your arm around in a wide circle with the poi effectively an extension of that arm. The Triketra or three pedal anti spin flower is a little trickier. I've already done an entire tutorial just on learning the Triketra that I'll link to in the description, but here's the TLDR. With the poi spinning counterclockwise and wall plane in front of you, start with your hand over to the left. Stall the poi head up and sneak your hand underneath it over to the right. As the poi head swings around your hand, swipe it back towards the left so that the poi head swings above it in the process. Think pop and swipe. Pop and swipe. This is a two beat move. Now pop your hand up with the poi as you stall it from left to right and drop your hand past your hips as you swipe it back to the left. This should result in a three pedal anti spin flower. So at that point it's just a matter of putting together those two pieces, right? Well, not so fast. Unlike most other hybrids, these two tricks have to be out of sync for the trick to work. For some people, this is pretty intuitive. For me, not so much. But I do have a trick that helped me and will hopefully help you out too. So this is going to involve radically reframing this trick, and rather than thinking of it as being a mashup of a triketra and an extension, to instead think of it as three butterflies chained together. Observe. If I think of that triketra as being kind of like a triangle, then I can take out each individual side of it and just move my hands back and forth along it with the poi in opposites. It's basically a butterfly stretched out along this line. We call these stretched out segments linear extensions, and I did an entire video series on them several years ago that includes some additional tricks like Zan's Diamond. I'll go ahead and link to that down in the description, but suffice it to say, this is one individual piece that we can pull out and make work for us. This is going Going to start by working to learn each individual segment. Think of doing a butterfly back and forth between your head and far off to your right side and then do 10 reps of it. Next, imagine a similar segment going back and forth between your head and your left side. Again, work to get in 10 reps of this diagonal butterfly. Finally, perform a split time butterfly across your midsection from side to side and again, work to get in 10 reps of it. If all these individual segments feel relatively comfortable, then it's time to start putting them together into pairs. There are a total of three pairs that we'll be drilling here. Start with the two diagonal butterflies. Think that every time you pass your nose, you're going to drop your hands down to either side of your waist. Left, up, right, up, left, going back and forth. To me, this actually doesn't feel significantly different from a normal butterfly, just slightly tweaked out. The other two will be a different story. If you look at this from the side, it looks a little bit like a thread the needle in that as you're going back and forth, you're going to switch which poi plane has the top bent toward or away from you. This is going to turn out to be important information for later on. 
Now let's take one of the bottom two angles, say off to your left hand side. Now you're going to go back and forth across your left hip thinking up, left, right, left, up. Going up into the side as you go back and forth. Finally, let's take the angle off to the right. Here you're going to go back and forth from up, right, left, right, up across your right hip. For both this angle and the last, you're going to notice a timing shift depending upon what segment you happen to be on, switching from split time to something closer to together time near the top. Okay, so once you have all three angles on lock, let's talk about how we put all of them together. I like to use that top part as a home base and go back and forth across it as a starting point. Count down, three, two, one, and sneak across the bottom of the shape and get back. And again, three, two, one, across and back. Then try going the other way. Three, two, one, across and back. Three, two, one, across and back. Try and see if you can get in 10 reps of each. Now see if you can pick back up on the other side of the pattern, counting three, two, one, across to start back up. Three, two, one, across to start back up. And then go the other direction. Three, two, one, across to start back up, three, two, one, across to start back up. Pretty nifty, huh? I feel like when I'm going across the top that the trick slows down a little bit, but going across the bottom it just seems to zip on by. Now see if you can get two reps of the full pattern each time you go through it. From home base, three, two, one, go through the whole thing twice. Again, three, two, one, go through the whole thing twice. Your ultimate goal here is to be able to get a total of 10 reps of the full trick going all the way around in a row. And here's a small tip that'll help you get through it. Here's a side view of the Mercedes with my hands going clockwise. Notice anything about the orientation of the planes? When my hands are on top, the top of my right hand poi plane is angled away from me, while on bottom, it's angled towards me. The plane shifts angle slightly at the bottom right. Lots of people find that their poi hit each other as they go through this move, and this is how you avoid that. If you're careful about the angle of your poi, you should be fine as you're moving through it. Sweet, so those are my best secrets for learning how to do the poi Mercedes but wait, there's more. Well, not here, but on my Patreon. If you've watched my videos on timing and direction, then you'll realize that in this video we covered the Mercedes with our hands in together same. There are also three other modes to learn this trick in as well. So if you'd like to check out those other modes, they're available in an extended version of this here tutorial, available exclusively to my supporters on Patreon. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi to check that out. Interested in some of the cool stuff you can use a Mercedes for? I cover some of the options in my Beyond the Basics course on my learning site at learn.drexfactor.com. I'll show you how to make a Mercedes work with caps and other hybrids, plus a host of other intermediate tricks like giants and behind the back tricks. To give that course a try, use the code MERCEDES at checkout to get 20% off. Is the Mercedes your favorite polyrhythm hybrid? Did you learn it a different way? Let me know down in the comments, and of course, let me know what other tricks you'd like to see me break down. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help other people find my content and bring the love of poi spinning into their lives as well. And finally, this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these wonderful people right here. They make this video and all the videos on my channel possible by supporting this work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the work that I do and spread the love of poi spinning far and wide, please sign up over at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. You can get early access to all of my content, extras that don't make it into regular videos, and be able to vote on topics I tackle in the future. Give that a look, please and thank you.